Right, at the junction point. Years ago there's a picture of me standing there in my army, army uniform when we were doing a Save the Children Fund walk. 22 miles we did. Yeah, and I'm standing over there. Yeah. Anyway, I can't find a... I can't see a path that would have been able to guide me along this route. No, it would have been very dangerous, look. Yeah. But I will look on the map when I get home. Anyway, Winterhead Hill. That's, if it, and that, you can see how dangerous that is. There's no path, if you look up there, there's no path for anybody to walk up there at all. No path. It's, it's all very dangerous. But here we go, folks. Guess where we are? We're on the West Bendit Way. Now up there beyond that hill is the quarry. And we were over the other side and we came up Callow Drove. This is the parallel route. Look at that. It's lovely, isn't it? Look at that. You can camp there, look. You can hire one of those if you wanted to. <laughs> not, not easy, not for anyone who walks it any good though, is it? You can't just nip up and get your shopping, can you? And it's right on a busy road, but it's a lovely scene. I've had a good walk, folks. Big walk. It's not over yet. I now can enjoy the West Mendip Way, which I haven't done for, I would say, more than six months. I can't remember the last time I did it. I'd have to look in the video diary um, to try and remember the last time I'd done this. this. It could be two years ago I'd done this particular route up that way. So I normally go that way to avoid cows. Um, and it might be a route I have to do more frequently um, if I'm going to do get off the bus over there, that row barrow, I might, this might be a new route for me that I might have to do when I come out of the Road Bear Warren. It might be. If not, I'll go back to Sanford. Uh, another route. There's some few pathways over there I want to explore as well. I have to remind myself to keep the camera still. I'm terrible at uh, moving it about and shaking it and Right there, there I see a the stile going up into the hill. Now up there, that's the quarry. Now, I, as you know, I went right the way round, right the way, right over there. But there is a stile back there that would lead you down from the quarry if you wanted to do this side, and you wanted to get onto this. Um. Hello, you listening to my conversation? Are you? Hello, are you beautiful darlings? Oh, you're lovely. I love you. Beautiful. Yeah, so there's a stile back there. I don't know how you get up there. I, there was a track going like that. You probably have to zigzag. I reckon you'd be able to get up in there. Something to think about. If I go up there another time, to see if I can find that style and I can get on here without having to go through the cow field. God, you know, I'm so lucky. Look at this beautiful view, everyone. Look at this. I'm on this beautiful track. It's a lovely blue sky. It's spring. Trees aren't even got all their got some buds out but that's about it look at it isn't it gorgeous look at that lane it's a lane of dreams isn't it that you know what I mean that's Drove Farm that's called in there Drove Farm yeah I can see all the cows in the field I'd have to come down through I can see them all spread out there they sometimes have sheep in there as well. 
God, I just feel so blessed, blessed to be able to enjoy all this, you know. It's lovely, it's lovely now and warm. Somebody's selling in a bit of field there, look. Let's hope they don't build houses on it though, God, it would ruin this area. Ruin it. Because the thing is, I can't really come this way to get to ship them and do that way. I'd have to come this way to Roborough Warren, you see. Or come back from Roborough Warren down here. Down that road again. Didn't take long. It was a pleasant enough thing. It's not as if I'll be doing it that often. But I'm just really enjoying this walk, you know. On a sunny spring day, the 18th of April 2023. And I haven't been over this way for a, quite a long time. Could be a year doing this. Could be two years doing it this way. It's just so gorgeous. But like I said, there's the big herd. Big herd over in the... I'll just zoom in a minute. There's a big herd over there. That's the quick way from the Callow Drove down to this drove. To this Mendit Way. But you have to negotiate all those cows. And there were some people with a dog earlier. I don't know if they ever... If they bumped into the cows or not. God, this is so lovely. I mean... Yeah, I had to dress up warm because we're back there up on the top near Tiny's Farm and that, that was sharp wind. That was sharp. I even had to put my hood up at one point. Now the wind has dropped. And I'm going down this gorgeous, gorgeous lane. I'm absolutely quintessentially English. Look at it. We're sheep in the field. Is that gorgeous? I'll turn off a minute. Oh. Gina's going to video you. Wait a minute. You might make a nice noise. There's a mama cow and there's a cow there with three calves. And I've just put some hay down. Come on then. Come on. I'm going to some hay. Come on. Yeah, look, mama. Look, nice. And more people. And more people come. Yeah. Look at you with your big horns. Look at you, isn't that nice? Yeah, come on then. There's some hay. Good babies. That's it, I'm going to go now. I'm going to leave you. I don't know if that's the bull. It looks like a big bull, doesn't he? Yeah. I'm all right with you this side. I wouldn't have come through the field. No, I wouldn't have come through the field, boys. I'll see you later. Yeah? I'll see you later. Yeah. Bye-bye. See you later. Just give them a bit more. Yeah. I'll give you some, I'll be your friend forever. Look. Yeah. That's nice. That's it. Bye bye then. It's always muddy there. Oh, I'm glad I met them and I gave them a bit of hay. But like I said, I wouldn't have gone in there. Yeah. I don't know, those people got on. They got calves and everything. Look. 
Take your life in your hands going in there, Tilly. Right, turn off that bit now. Going up to a beautiful tree, a landmark and reference point this tree is. Yeah, I'm glad they were in there, mine. That like, could still be the bull sat at the top of the field there. They often do sit on loan. Right, I'm going to turn off now. Said hi to the cows. That's the cows. That's why I had to do a diversion right round. That's a big herd and they've got calves. And they've got horns. Right, a bit more video as I'm going along the West Mendip Way. This is an old pilgrimage route anyway. And, um, there's lovely flowers. Very pretty, look at that. Really gorgeous. And that one there, look how pretty that is. So it's, you know, people have been walking along with us for hundreds of years. It's an old drove, don't forget still. It's an old drove. With a parallel one over there. Now going down, which I was on earlier, of course. Earlier in today, I was over there. And there's probably ways of walking through, I don't know. I'm just getting a bit of hickety pickety here because they got, they sorted all this out once. They filled it all in, leveled it all out. But water comes down, washes the soil. Vehicles come up, causing trenching. Hello, little tree, and a little holly tree as well. Hello. Glad to see you're surviving. There's clearers everywhere. I've just got to plug the battery charger back in for a minute. I brought more, my bag's quite heavy because I brought a spare charger, a spare camera. Yeah, I'm glad I've been able to do this today. Like I said, I can imagine me just doing circuits up the top there in Rowbarrow, ending up at Sanford. Um, and picking the bus up at Sanford. I can imagine me doing lots of circuits up there, up that way, trying out different pathways, not always coming all the way over here and all that, you know, just exploring over there. So today I've done it now, I've done a really good examination over this way really, with little bits of areas not quite done yet. Um, but uh, there's no panic. I didn't enjoy really doing the strawberry line much going to cheddar. I found that, I don't know, it was hard doing that really. Right, just got to turn off again, take a nice picture of this scene. And as we know, that takes you up to Crook's Peak at the other side of that. Waverly down. That's the Mendip Hills up there. I'll just zoom in again. Soon that'll be all green and lush. These sharp winds are keeping everything at bay at the moment. The bud's tight. Hi everyone, I'm back. Minute. I've just come down the West Mendip Way. And uh, about 
four, no four. Yeah, about five and a half hours ago, I came up that road. Right, and I went up there. About past eleven, I think it was when I got here. It's now going on for four, so four and a half hours it took us to walk around at a nice steady pace with no pressure. My bus is actually coming into my four I can't make the four o'clock because I can't get there. It's actually not even arrived the four o'clock to this place. But I can't get up I can't I can't reach it. It doesn't come this way anymore. I would have got the four o'clock easy. Yeah, there's, there's ten minutes to go yet, and it'll probably be late as well. And that's the only bus. That bus that's coming now to pick those, got all those school kids on. Well, that is the bus that's going to be picking me up. And it could, could be hours or so time. Be hours. I could have asked him for a lift, couldn't I? You couldn't drop me at the bus stop because you're in town. I'm going to miss my bus. It'll be taking two minutes to get there for me. I could have, couldn't I? I didn't think of it until it gone past. Didn't think of it. We might be going that way anyway. Yeah, it's a shame the sun's gone in because that would have been okay hanging about. I'm enjoying just plodding there, are you? Yeah. 